Hello. In this video, we're going to look at how to import a test pool as well as how to create a test from a test pool. So um, I'm in a course and I'm um, from the control panel. If you go to course tools, scroll to the towards the bottom where it says test surveys and pools. You click on that and then choose your choose your pools area. Now, often publishers now will send zip files of test pools. So uh, this is how you get the test pools into Blackboard. You click on Import Pool, browse your computer, and wherever your list of test pools are on your hard drive or H drive or wherever you save them, you just click on the name of the file. I'll just click one and then click Open. You'll see the name of that zip file here. Click Submit. Then you'll get this um, message saying the operation is complete, the package has been processed. Click OK. And it will be um, included in your pools area. So now what do you do with these pools? So we, from here we have to go back to test surveys and pools. And now we'll click test and we'll create a test from one or several of those pools. So we'll just click the build test button, name the test. You can provide a description and instructions if you like, but that's optional. Click Submit. This brings us to the Test Canvas area where we build our test. So because these questions are already included on Blackboard, rather than Create Question, we're going to choose Reuse Question. Um, from here, we're just going to use, we don't want a random block or set, we're just going to choose Find Questions. And that brings us to the Question Pools area. Okay. From here, I'm just going to open that window a little bit, you'll see the list of pools you have on the left side. If you already have tests created as well, you'll see those listed as well. So what you want to do is click the boxes next to the test pools that you want to use. Um, in addition to that, under question types, choose the kind of questions that you want. So say, for example, I just want multiple choice and perhaps true and false. It looks like in this particular um, pool, they only have true and false questions, no multiple choice. So um, I also decide I want to choose some questions from the Chapter 2 pool. All right, and this one as well, I still have the same options, and I see that Chapter 2 has some um, multiple choice questions. You can always tell from on the viewing area, I'm just going to make this window a little bit bigger. Let's see. You can see um, what kind of question it is, how many points it's worth, and that can always be changed once you get the questions in the test canvas, and which pool the question is coming from. Notice up at the top here, um, under Mode, it says, do you want to copy selected questions or link to original questions? I always recommend linking to the original questions in case you find a mistake in the question. If you correct it within the pool, that whatever questions, whatever test these, this particular question is linked to, um, that will automatically be corrected as well. Instead of having to go to where, you know, how many, if you have that question in three different tests, you'll have to go to each one individually if you choose the copy um, option. So right now there are 21 questions totally um, included. So if you want all 21 questions, you can just click this top checkbox that selects all of them. And again, notice at the bottom here, it will always tell you how many questions you have selected. I'm just going to check another pool to, um, for the, to show one example. So now we have 35 total questions, but on page 1, notice we have page 1 of 2, only 25 will show. We'll say I want questions also from um, the next page. So, so whatever questions I've selected already, 21 on page 1, um, will remain. Then I click the arrow to go to page 2 and say I want um, you know, a couple of other questions from page two. Notice it, it is adding those extra questions to my total. Okay, so now I determine this is all the questions I want, then I'm just going to click Submit. Once you do that, it brings you back to the Test Canvas area with all 23 questions included here. Okay, you can see they're formatted. They all look good. You can just kind of give a quick scroll. 
If you're happy with all of these, um, then at the very bottom right, you'll just click OK. If you decide you don't want to use a particular question, just mouse over that question and click the action arrow and choose remove. It's only removing it from the test, not the test pool. Okay. Oh, and one other thing, if you wanted to change the point value, say you wanted all questions to be worth two points, you can, at the top here, you can click under select, select all, click on all, that obviously selects all your questions, and under points, put the number you want each question to be worth, and then click update. That will change the value of every question, and now my 23 questions are worth 46 points total. Okay. Um, once again, once you're finished with that, just click OK at the bottom of your screen. And now test two is ready. Notice though again under deployed, it says no. So that's the step that makes this test available to students. So when you're ready to do that, from the uh, Blackboard tutorial area, just choose the tutorial for create a t test in Blackboard part two. That's how to deploy your test. All right, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact the TLC. Thank you.